black is still playing on his mind he's dropped the cue ball in the eighth frame and just given a a very very commanding position to Celt in this eighth 17 current break of uh, 17 for Celt and he's just rattling off uh, the combination of reds with the black plenty of uh, free reds to pick off Twenty-four. He's got at least four loose reds to work off 25. with color before he starts thinking about uh, canning that uh, cue ball into the pack. Well, uh, delighted, flanked on either side of Jason Ferguson, the chairman of the WPBSA and president, Captain PVK Mohan of the BSF Fire, Mr. Sanjay. Srivats, who's the regional director for South India's Ministry Thirty. of Tourism on behalf of the government of India and there of course are much love sponsors as are Indian Oil and their general manager for Kerala, Mr P.S. Money, is here as well. Great to see them enjoying the best seats in the house having put so much work into bringing this event to Kerala that's been such a success but is it going to end in heartbreak for the young Chinese? Remember only two Chinese players, Ding Jingwei and Nang Wing Bo have won ranking events before. Plenty of Englishmen have, but Matthew Selt's name has not been on that list up until tonight, potentially. Already 42 points in front. And um, 38. your heart breaks for Liao Hao Shan, but maybe the pressure just told in that last frame. Yes, and right after that uh, mid-match break that happened after four frames, Matthew Selt has come out far more composed and maybe that tempo that was building for Hao Shen was broken then. Well, what's most impressive is, of course, Lao Hao Shen won the first frame after that break and um, Matthew Selt himself was on the wrong end of three consecutive frames, but Selt's responded with two straight of his own and if he can make it three as he looks like he's in prime position to do here, the title will be his. 39. Oh, he's now cannoned the cue ball into the reds, opened up the pack a tad. He's got a few more options to work with now. 46. Oh, that's 46. a good long pot on the red. And it leaves him nicely on to the blue yard now. Well, the finish line's in sight. He's just got to hold his nerve. And that's been a key component of all his big wins this week. And now Hugh Shan can just sit there and wonder what might have been. I'll be surprised there's a few tears after this. He's not shown much emotion there, Hugh Shan, this week. Absolutely prime. 52. He needed that uh, cue ball to travel a bit, but spare a thought for the 21-year-old. He's made it to the final, his first ever world ranking event final. And it might just end in heartbreak. Because Selt, the way he's going, 53. doesn't look as if he's going to relinquish this position. And we've seen uh, quality snooker in the final of the Indian Open 2019. Once again, a big thank you to the principal sponsors, ONGC, Incredible India, Indian Oil Corporation, Kerala Tourism, and Grand Hyatt for uh, supporting this uh, event. He's on a roll. Here's Selt. There's another uh, free red to knock down. 58. So just two reds with colours for Selt and he can start getting used to the fact 59. he will be crowned the Indian Open champion and will have a ranking event victory to his name. A man who 
had a meteoric rise early in his career, fell by the wayside somewhat, but has gradually built himself back up to be a snooker force, and this is the crowning achievement of that rebuild. In it goes. Now just one red to leave Lao Hushan requiring snookers. 66. And look at not just how he spotted the black, but where the cue balls ended up, because there's just one loose red right at the top of the pack. That's what he's targeting into the bottom right. And he gets that as well. The crowd, know it. the crowd know they're looking at the new Indian Open champion at the table. In a fascinating clash that's had everything. Century breaks. Safety dramas, mistakes under pressure from Liao Hushan. And look at that. When things are going right for you, things are going right for you. 72. Now, remember, you've got a total of 67 points on the table. 72. 76 ahead. Which means how Shan chooses to come back to the table in the hope of getting snookers here because that's the only way in which he can catch up. Red drops for how Shan, but Whoa. more than just scoring, what he's looking at right now is uh, trying to get some snookers as uh, Patrick King on. Makes himself scarce in the commentary box. I'm joined by Aditya Mehta. Yeah, that was not intended for Luau Shan, and this could be his final shot at the Indian Open if this doesn't go. He was spectacularly to keep him in the game. He still needs multiple snookers, but had that pink not Seven. dropped, the handshake would have come out. Now that it has. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then now subscribe to और बेल आइकॉन को क्लिक करके हमारी लेटेस्ट वीडियोस के बारे में अपडेट जाने सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और हम आपको लिए चलेंगे आपकी फेवरेट वीडियो की तरफ wonder how much longer he can hold on be looking to clear up at least 3 of these colors 3 of these reds with a high value color 8 and then play a snooker on that final red spare a thought for the kid he knows the odds are against him in trying to win his first ranking title, but he's going to try. The bigger problem as well for him is that black is nestled right next to the cushion, so it takes seven points out of the equation. All he can do is work with the pink and blue as the follow-up colors. Yeah, and that's going to increase the number of snookers that he's going to require. Remember, every pink that he takes it's one point less than a potential black. So if we do our calculations now, 62 behind, 51 remaining on the table. 14. I 15. Wonder what he's done there. He's looking at playing the black down the rail. He realizes his only chance if he gets the black back into play. Didn't need to do this, but this could be once again a fabulous spot. Keep himself in with half a chance. 22. Just shows what happens when the pressure is gone. He knows that he's practically lost this match. 23. Unfortunately, unfortunately, just went missing for the couple of frames, didn't he? And it really cost him that miss black in the last frame. And I'm sure that's going to haunt him for the days and months to follow. Till he wins his first world ranking uh, championship tournament. 30. No, he's not quite experienced in, in terms of these kind of situations. 46 behind, 35 remaining definitely needs a free ball so he won't be trying to pot this red just wonder what's going through his mind
Blue hole shun, 30. Tried to play the snooker in behind the blue, but the red got that middle pocket jaw. And ideally, if I was Matthew Selt, I'd be pushing this red over a pocket, forcing Haushan to pot it. That's exactly what he's done. Liu Haushan needs this red on the table for that potential free ball. If he was to pot this red and black, he would effectively be forced into needing three snookers. Exactly what's happened. Well, walking on the bright side, at least he's got a high value color. So this will leave him 39 behind on 27 on the table. So three snookers to tie. And with all due respect to how good this player is, I just find it hard to imagine him finding his way back into this match. Just a little disappointed, he didn't want to finish that close to the cushion which reduces his options in terms of playing any sort of a screw stun shot with side now all you can see is the top end of the white which means that there are very few options available in terms of snookers yeah, 39 behind 27 on the table doesn't work uh, Shan, seven see the look of disappointment in Lu Haoshan's face. He's a young kid. This experience is going to make him stronger. I'm not counting him out yet, but the odds are very, very slim. And full credit to Matthew Salt because he's had to deal with a lot in this match. Early on, he was fortunate to be 2 0 up, and then he had to deal with that barrage of three frames from Lu Hao Shan. And then he had to deal with a little bit of ball run in favor of Lu Hao Shan, but eventually it came down to that missed black, which could have easily taken Lu Hao Shan 4 3 in front. And here. So I don't think Matthew Salt really has any pot opportunity, but I can imagine that Lu Hao Shan would find himself in behind black and blue here. Not quite. I think he was stuck in between trying to play the pot or play the snooker. I don't think he committed completely to either one of them this is just the adrenaline now flowing through Matthew Salt's veins knowing that he's not he's even closer than touching distance to his first ranking title what are the options here for Haoshan he needs those three snookers. They might as well start looking for them now when there are more balls on the on the table. got a sighter on the yellow all right as he looked to pot oh he's tried a few times to get that middle pocket Ashan's not going to be able to control where this yellow goes it's going to be a bit of a hit and hope and there you go 
mistake has been forced by Matthew Salt and this effectively will make sure that Lu Hao Shan does not come back to the table. Matthew Salt will get, will get his hands on that Indian Open trophy. Not to be the adrenaline. Still flowing. Fortunately, he's got Lu Hao Shan and a snooker. Can he just find a tiny edge there? Maybe play it the way to come back in behind the green. He's left it over the pocket, but has he covered it? I think he has. How difficult is it? For a player to just control his emotions, knowing that he's 12 points uh, ahead of the number of points that are there on the table, even if Hao Shan gets all of them. And three unlikely snookers required. You're already celebrating in your head, and then you're trying to calm yourself down and saying, hang on, the job's not done yet. Absolutely. It's just that initial phase of euphoria, but it'll quickly come back down if Liu Hao Shan manages to get one or two of these snookers, but it's not going to be that easy. The blue and black are in a really inviting position for snooker, so you kind of have to be careful, Matthew Salt. Looks like a good path. Looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. Fair play to him, he's battling on here. So dignitaries look on, Captain Mohan, very impressed with this young kid. And who wouldn't be? Absolute gem of a player. You know, I was talking about this earlier, but then I'll come back to it. He's finally managed to uh, get the path to the yellow, Matthew Selt. But how is it? Over the years, you've seen... Uh, that the age of players has actually dropped dramatically. We've got these youngsters, teenagers from China coming in and, uh, you know, proving to be a challenge to the best in the world. Yeah, it's just full credit to the system out in China, the academies, the thousands and thousands of players that are competing for these spots on the Pro Tour. You know, even, even in the major countries like the United Kingdom and parts of Europe we don't have the kind of depth strength in depth I should say as China does number of tournaments prize money it's just going through the roof in China they absolutely love it it just shows when every year and every second year you have a bunch of new youngsters staking their claim this might be the first foul back, and it is. Foul. So he's got one. Lu Hao Shan, four. Still a lot of work to be done, though. Just got to keep this cool, Matthew Salt. looks highly improbable, albeit not impossible, but highly improbable for Hao Shan to pull it back from here. But stranger things have happened in sport. Looks good. Looks very good. Fabulous shot. Once again, this is a very tricky snooker. Matthew Sell can't afford to misjudge this. He can't afford to miss this yellow to the left-hand side, because that, that might mean that he hits the blue, and that would be giving away a five-point foul. If he was to hit the black inadvertently, it would be a seven-point foul. And that would really change things in this match. Something that... I don't think anyone in the crowd or here expected. Oh. 
to be a very, very relieved man after that escape. Even though it's relatively a straightforward snooker, under the circumstances, everything is tough. I'm just thinking, how difficult is it for a player to switch gears mentally? You've had both these guys get century plus breaks and we know they, they like to get a move on and play attacking snooker, try and pot. So suddenly get into this very scrappy safety battle which is so heavy on the nerves really. This is uncharted territory really, I mean, one player thinks he's won it, the other one thinks he's lost it, but nobody willing to shake hands yet. As they say, it's never over until the fat lady sings. Matt will be a real, little relieved after being put into those couple of snookers. But once again, the green's gone really close to the pink, which means that if Lu Hao Shan can somehow manage to pop the yellow, might have an opportunity of a really easy snooker on the green. I think what Matt sort of played there was potentially to cannon the black and push it to the black cushion. Didn't quite get the cannon, but he wants to make sure now that he doesn't leave a pot on for Lu Hao Shan because definitely he would go for it and play the snooker on the green. Well, effectively, you've got to realize this match is into uncharted territory because both these players haven't had the chance to play anything over seven frames because they've always played a best of seven. This is the eighth being the final. It's a best of nine. Otherwise, more often than not, you've seen Hao Shan prevail over the seven frame battles, 4-3 on a couple of occasions. Celt has done the same as well in the initial rounds. Conclusion is not in sight yet. Felt like it was all over when Matthew Selt went into the pack from the blue on a break of 76. Unfortunately, didn't land on anything. And even though mathematically Lu Hao Shan was out of the game, it meant that he would definitely come back to the table. But at that point, one more red for Matthew Selt, and he would have been at dinner and cocktails by now. I remember, he had another opportunity as well when he had a chance to pot the yellow and missed. That could have sealed it as well. Yeah, that's just the nerves of seeing 50,000 pounds written on the ball in front of you. It's no mean feat in this day and age. Like miss hit from Luau Shannon that could have easily left Matt with a very easy yellow but as it turns out still no pot opportunity Yellow going. 
over the pocket and snookered behind the brown. If Lu Hao Shan does not make contact with this yellow, that will be the end of the Indian Open 2019. he has and there's Foul. a white and there's a free ball and that most definitely will be a handshake coming up he's being a good sport he's allowing Matthew Salt to go through the motions and get the victory on his own visit that's very professional from Lu Hao Shan 39 behind he knows this match is over He's going to let Matthew Salt do his victory lap. That would be a huge sigh of relief for Matthew Salt. Two. And I don't see Luha Shan coming back to the table now. <coughs> Matthew Salt, two. This kid is really desperate to get his hands on that trophy. And he's in no rush to let Matthew Sal go home. Once again, makes contact with the yellow. I don't think he realizes the restrictions we have for television coverage here. He's saying, I made it to my first ever world ranking, major world ranking event final. The winner's purse is 50,000 pounds. I've got bragging rights and a trophy to take home. I bought this from Matthew Sell. Two. You got a feel for the kid, but he's only going to get stronger from here. And he refuses Two. to give the handshake. 43 behind, 25 on the table, five snookers required. I think Matthew Salt is going to have to pot everything. I think he'll be a little frustrated. Here you go, another look at the green. Oh. Now, shall I call it again? Three. Is the handshake coming? I'll leave it up to you, Roman. <laughs> Looking at the body language of uh, Liu Hao Shen, I don't see him moving from the chair, but I don't think he'll be required to move if Matthew Seven. Sell pots uh, whatever's on the table. I think he's given up now, and a nice little victory lap for Sell. A huge mammoth effort today. Twelve. Under the circumstances, the way the match went, I think he's done extremely well and he's proved me wrong. Not that I'm much of an expert. Congratulations to Matthew Shaw, winner of the fifth Indian Open here in Kochi, Kerala. And this is the moment to save up for Matthew Shaw, the Englishman who's 33 years old. He's won his first major world ranking event title and it's come in Kochi, Kerala.